Stethothrifis are also known in English as Jew. For those who are not familiar with Jerusalem artichokes, they are the root that grow underground and very much have the taste of artichokes. So here we have some batata trefes, as you can see here. So they come in all different kinds of shapes and sizes, like this, or even rounder ones. Me, I specifically like to buy these round ones, or these longer ones like this. As you can see here, this one is really knobby, and it's quite difficult to, uh, to clean. You would have to cut these off here, cut quite a bit off. For you to be able to clean them properly so it's just so much easier to clean ones like this in my opinion take one i like to use a regular vegetable peeler and a knife and just peel quite easily you peel all the skin off Quite easy. A lot of the nubby parts will come off as well when you're peeling. So there you go. Then you have a nice clean piece like this. But the other thing is cleaned. I just like to put it in some acidulated water like that so that it doesn't brown. So much like potatoes and artichokes, the Tata Trefes drew some artichokes, they do oxidize when you clean them. that um, this dish is usually prepared with chickpeas but my children actually prefer sweet peas so I like to use frozen peas in most of my dishes that call for chickpeas so today I'm also going to use chickpeas you can optionally replace the peas with chickpeas if you like to be closer to the traditional Algerian recipe So we're going to begin by sauteing our onion in olive oil or a mix of sunflower oil and olive oil. Gotten nice and soft, then I'll add in my garlic. As caramelized, we're going to move the onions to one side here. And then we're going to add in one tablespoon of tomato paste. And we're just going to let that caramelize there. And what that does is removes a lot of the acid, acidity taste and gives you a really nice mellow tomato -y flavor. So just let that caramelize for a few minutes. Move it around a bit. Add in one tablespoon of gear sauce, which is red pepper paste. Leaf. And some artichoke drain from all the liquid. Double the volume of water. And just cook on a medium heat. Then the peas, using frozen peas. The peas are almost fully cooked. We just add in our herbs. Let that cook for a few additional minutes, and then we're ready to serve. Hey, batata. As you can see, it's still warm. We can enjoy this with some freshly break crusty bread. Even a side of olives would be nice or a side salad. Uh, this is a vegetarian meal. Obviously, it's vegan as well. You could optionally add a piece of roasted meat or some grilled off meat if you like. But it's really delicious and economical traditional Algerian dish with a modern twist since I used the 
sweet peas instead of the chickpeas. So again, inshallah, I hope you like this recipe. I encourage you to give it a try. And until next time, sahatkum.